आपने तो कर लिया था सलमान साहब का है हामिद खान साहब आप कंक्लूड कर लिया था ना मैंने कंक्लूड कर लिए थे मेरी सिर्फ एक गुजारिश है कि ये केस इंडिपेंडेंटली अगर डिसाइड हो जाए वो अपील है वो उसके अपने मेरिट्स पे होती रहेगी इसको जरा कंसीडर कर लीजिएगा तो दिस केस इज कंक्लूडेड और आप क्या कहते हैं डू सपोर्ट इस कंटेंशन और नॉट not sure of course i do the concern of the bar association was to the extent of initiating and then completion no, of we the understood that what is your point of view this is between the appellant and the prosecution mujhe koi itraaz nahi hai that i think ke bar councils ka ye jo connected matters the wo sune bhi gaye hain hearing bhi conclude ho gayi uska is appeal se koi taruk it has no bearing on this it has no bearing whatsoever sir okay चलिए ठीक है आई डोंट से एनीथिंग डेफिनेट बट वी विल सर्टनली कंसिडर योर जॉइंट रिक्वेस्ट आप कुछ फर्क कहना चाहते हैं नहीं सर नहीं आपसे अभी हमारे पता क्या अभी पहुंची है सर थोड़ी लेट थोड़ी हो नहीं हमने वो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एस्पेक्ट तो कंसिडर कर लिया है खान साहब के हो गए तो सलमान साहब ने नहीं नहीं ठहरी ना टू एस्पेक्ट है ना केस के एक था लाहौर हाईकोर्ट इन वोक दूशनल जूरिस्टिक्शन विच इवन मिस्टर सलमान सेड वॉज नॉट प्रॉपर बिल्कुल सही खान साहब एवरीबडी वी हर्ड एवरीबडी ऑन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एस्पेक्ट वेदर द लाहौर हाईकोर्ट हेड करेक्टली एज्यूम जूरिस्टिक्शन वेन द लॉ प्रोवाइड फॉर एन अपील सो आप लोगों का कहना था कि दैट वॉज रॉन्ग अब खान साहब की रिक्वेस्ट आई है हामिद खान साहब की कि दोनों को अलग कर लें कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन जो एस्पेक्ट्स हैं जो ये जो सी पी थ्री सेवन नाइन सेवन नाइन एट नाइन नाइन थ्री एट डबल जीरो और कौन सी है तो इनको अलग कर लें और इनकी जो क्रिमिनल अपील है वो हम सुन लें अलग ठीक है हमने सलमान साहब से पूछा सलमान साहब ने भी कहा कि मुझे कोई इतराज नहीं है और इनफैक्ट इन सपोर्ट्स द कंटेंशन If you all want to be heard in the criminal appeal, तो हम आपको भी सुन लेंगे मगर आप नहीं सुनना चाहते हैं आपको नहीं सुनेंगे इनको हम क्रिमिनल अपील सुन लेते हैं इनकी जी बिल्कुल स्टेट आई डोंट नो स्टेट की तरफ से कौन है क्रिमिनल अपील में आप हैं क्रिमिनल अपील में ठीक जी सर जहाँ तक तो इस चीज अगर कोई बात हुई हम देख लेंगे बिल्कुल ठीक है सर तो डू ऑल एव एनी ऑब्जेक्शन टू द मैटर बींग सेपरेटेड नहीं हमें कोई ऑब्जेक्शन नहीं है बेशक सेपरेट कर दें सर ठीक है और बाकी अगर क्रिमिनल अपील पे हम अगर हम ओके हम आपस में डिस्कस हम भी हमने नोट कर लिया आपका कंटेंशन वी विल कंसीडर इट लेट हिम स्टार्ट नाउ तो इस पे सर अगर क्रिमिनल अपील में अगर जनाब इजाजत देंगे तो हम अगर सही करना चाहें तो फिर बिल कॉल अपॉन यू अगर कोई ऐसा खास लीगल इशू आ जाएगा तो आप कर दीजिएगा अदरवाइज द स्टेट विल जी ठीक है आप अपोज कर रहे हैं क्रिमिनल अपील चौधरी साहब हमें Are you opposing the criminal appeal? My Lord. ठीक है तो अगर कोई कमी बेशी रह गई तो ये तो आप इनको बता दीजिए या फिर हम जी ठीक है कोई लीगल पॉइंट हुआ तो जी ठीक हम सुन लेंगे ठीक है आइए सलमान सर सर लॉर्डशिप आई वुड लाइक टू बिगेन बाय रेफरिंग टू द ऑर्डर्स ऑफ द ऑनरेबल बेंच ऑन द लास्ट स्टेट ऑफ हेरिंग दे वर थ्री पार्ट्स टू दी ऑर्डर the first part related to establishing contact with the relatives and with the legal heirs of uh, the you are uh, representing someone or not i am not representing anyone sir and this is despite repeated messages hectic efforts i went an extra mile to establish a contact i even cooperated with the family uh, with the court staff notices were served at the residence chak shahzad i had one telephone number of the way that was we, 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 we believe you don't have to explain give an explanation i'm just saying do you represent anybody your lordship i do not represent anyone from the family and i do not have the instructions from the family either to proceed or not to proceed so there are absolutely it appears that of course that this appeal is being heard Uh, the family is in the know they are in the knowledge they are not interested in pursuing the appeal this is now you got, visibly you got in touch with the family and they know that there is an appeal lordship 
It's I also got been touch in a sense that messages were sent and were not video. responded, not even once. As and this is since November, last year, November 23, more than 10 uh, contacts which I established, usually normal uh, advocates don't go to that extent. But as an abundant precaution, or is for that say, the family must have been, they were very anxious till the time he was alive, till the time the appeal was in the Supreme Court. But my last contact was at the death for the condolence and after that there was no contact and there was no reply. Uh, so there is nothing, nobody has told you directly that we don't want to pursue. Ji. So, ji. so, ji. so, so this is, this is one situation. But issued notices also to them. Ji. Ab, separately this honorable court has also sent notices or akhbar ishtihar bhi hua, down akhbar mein bhi gaya. Wo Dubai ke address par bhi gaya, wo Chak Shazad par bhi gaya aur wo telephone ke through bhi message gaya. So this was... Then ye agar my learned brother has pointed out, then what do you make of 431? Your Lordship, I will make it. Can we read 431? Your Lordship, then I would make my submissions. Who are you making submissions on behalf of? No one, sir. This is... On the... On the... This appeal is to your Lordship. At the time. I can be... Here, assisting my lords only in two scenarios. Scenario number one, if there is a punishment resulting in fine, there has to be punishment, not any other consequences, not pension, not attachment, not any monetary. You're just assisting the court on the legal provision. What happens to such a case where, where a person is not represented? Your Lordship, all the reported cases of the Honorable Supreme Court, as many as four that I have today, all the cases proceeded and the way forward was after the legal heirs had stepped in, they were replaced and an application was filed according to order 15 rule 6 and 7 of the honorable supreme court and if the court after hearing the submissions only in case of fine now in this case for high treason for article 6 the only punishment prescribed is death sentence or imprisonment for life mr salman it's sir and not actually an appeal before this court uh, as My the the uh, appellant, it was numbered just to make it uh, visible that it is appeal pending before this court. Uh, the appellant has not never surrendered before this court. It never surrendered. Therefore, it was not actually numbered. I, I thought, because in this case, there were some problems and this is indeed yeah, very since unfortunate. Since you had given some reasons that his non-surrendering was on account of ill health yes sir. so we were more accommodating of course sir. but then we expected that the legal heirs or one or more of, of course, them sir. would come forward so then there is nothing before us Lord to decide I had, I had drafted, we are not, not deciding anything i had drafted some very engaging points for my lord <laughs> really really appreciate it. <laughs> and i'm even today very anxious if i'm able to overcome the hurdle and the impediment which legally legally i cannot assist my lords any further after his death and after the family not coming forward and in the absence of so in regular cases when we look at 431 sir if the appellant passes away sir the appeal abates abates sir so that's the legal position that's the legal position so, so you are not there is no fine there is no exception and no one is here to engage me i cannot represent a dead person and in this particular case we've reached out to the legal heirs but on repeated, uh, repeated notices they're not coming so repeated and it's been widely reported in the media so it's i doubt it because they won't course, know about it the, your lordship this honorable court has gone out of the way but of course I was, I was really looking forward to hearing your submissions. I was equally anxious, but perhaps maybe some other day, some other case. Rajip, for three and a half years, what is this case? I will highlight that in this case, the case is that the case is that the case is that the case is that High treason should have been noticed, should not have gone unnoticed. Instantly, the federal government should have been in action. You want us to plead guilty? What can we do? Salman sir, for what we are trying to do, what we are trying to do. I know you are not the only person who has complained this. Of course, everybody can wait his turn. 
if it's predetermined first in, first out. I mean, naturally, we can't hear 55,000 cases simultaneously. Of course, sir. But if there's a system, first in, first out, first in, then even in the Sindh High Court, I would be increasing, like, that pyramid approach is not the same, the same amount of cases are leading in the Supreme Court. They can't, we are trying to restructure things, minimizing discretion or, in fact, finishing discretion. And unless there are good reasons, I mean, there are cases which become irrelevant, uh, you know, after a certain period of time. It could be election dispute, it could be a uh, custody order. There are various naturally inbuilt, you have to have them decided. All the law stipulates that it should be done. And I think in this case, you are absolutely correct that the law, if it does not stipulate, it certainly heavily implies that these sort of, it's not an everyday case, it should be attended to as fast, as quickly as possible. Your Lordship. For four so years I, it was high on the shelves uh, so in, in the registrar office. So we are, we, uh, we, are trying, we did this to do this, they, I mean they had the same complaint. Uh, of these, uh, CP was is not being heard, so at least we've got them fixed. But your Chief, may I submit, even if the family was here today and would have instructed me to proceed with the appeal, the Indian jurisdiction in the, uh, the relevant section is 436 no, perhaps. In that case, 431 has to be independently challenged. It has to be. Because either it's not constitutionally correct or requires It has to be challenged. It has to be challenged. Abhi tak now, settled jurisprudence, uh, uniform and consistent You'll have to approach. challenge 431 to say it's unconstitutional and it access to justice is affected. Then we'll go further. Then we'll go further. Now we have no instructions. So how can we do it? And Your Lordship, the four reported judgments that I have today, all of them are true legal representatives. Right. All of them. You're not a single. So Can you give us the list of those cases. Those cases. No, but in those cases, uh, this is a Pakistani jurisdiction. Pakistan. No. So uh, if the uh, person had passed away, they allowed the legal heirs to argue the matter. Only if there is a fine. For even for is compass? that provision available in 431? Yes, sir. The only exception is fine. Yeah, see, see, Your Lordship, the see, first judgment is 2020 SCMR 359. 2020 SCMR 359. Yeah. This is through legal ears. Judgment authored by His Lordship, Mr. Justice Late Special. Kazi Muhammad Amin Sa. Okay. Yeah. 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 And Your Lordship, is me on a Landmark judgment which is relied on by the Justice Corlinius, 1971 SEMR 35. This was a judgment through eight legal years, 1971 judgment. 71 SEMR? 1971 SEMR 31, sir. And what did you write before? The first judgment is 2020 SEMR 359. 351? 359, sir. The second judgment, which is my Lord Mr. Justice Mansoor Ali Shah Sahib was also a part and parcel. 2019 SCMR double one double four, Lordship Mr. Justice Mansoor Ahmed Malik Sahab, Kazi Muhammad Amin, and Mr. Justice Mansoor Ali, authored by Kazi Muhammad Amin Sahab. What did they, it hold? Your Lordship, this again said that only if there is a monetary punishment arising so from that the, passes on to the legal heir. G, Your Lordship. The third one is Your Lordship. This is a five-member bench judgment, 1971, 35. Uh, the uh, by uh, this is authored by Justice S. A. Rahman, and there is a disagreeing opinion on uh, by Justice Corlinius. That is also very important. The citation. This is 1971, SCMR 35. You have written 71 SCMR 31? 35, sir. Okay, 35. That's your Cornelius Saab's judgment. Cornelius Saab's additional note is on abatement. So you've given us three judgments. I've given three. There is a fourth one, sir. Yes. The fourth judgment is PLD 1967. Supreme Court 42. These are the four judgments of the Supreme Court which are repeatedly referred to. 42. And then, Your Lordship, there is one if judgment. What is the principle? The principle is, Your Lordship, that with death, corporal punishments are exacted from the body and from the person. And if the person is in the grave, that is the end of the matter. Appeal is abated in terms of Black's Law Dictionary. Ki mein definition ko bhi refer karunga. It nullifies, it eliminates, the claim ends. Oh, how would you uh, attend to... If I put it to you, 
if my father is now a murder convict murderer and he filed an appeal and the son the family subsequent generations will, su will suffer from a stigma though it's not a financial I thing think about it though, though it is not a financial thing why why should they I, be uh, deprived Lordship, of exoneration Lordship, unfortunately the way criminal so jurisprudence should have developed it has not and what is happening in the u.s agaraj in 2023 with the aid and help of dna technology <laughs> Retiring yeah. benefits, yeah. Or whatever, whatever. But Roger, within within Roger. the cons, within the constitution, mm. the fundamental rights. Roger, anything in I have of attempted uh, uh, for the past 23 years. This is what I do day in day out: murder appeals. More than 3,000. I have argued in high court and on many occasions. I have tried arguing an appeal of a dead man, but never had luck ever. So I was very anxious. Case maybe you stigma. never came. Maybe you never came before me. <laughs> Too late in the day, sir. You may have been luckier. No, but here the, here the question, there's another added problem. I, just thinking aloud, I, I think at the end of the day, everything revolves around fairness. And I don't see a good reason for a person who wants to vindicate the name of his deceased, whatever, uh, uh, father, why should he be prevented? Because, I mean, it also affects that person. I mean, ah, you are the son of that murderer. I mean, you know, uh, okay, uh, it has societal consequences, it has family consequences. So I, but here we have the added problem that none of the legal heirs are coming forward. So let's not kill it completely. Let's keep it alive. The issue. 1898 may rug gayi baat. Nee, maybe let's keep the issue alive for because after all, it's a code of criminal procedure. No, what about? So it is not technically speaking. I mean, you know, it has legal things, but. We can look at certain constitutional provisions, the fundamental rights. I don't know if you can have an expanded discussion on Article 10A, right to fair trial, and appeal is incorporated in it, and appeal is a right, and sort of, you know, a removal of a stigma is a right, and all that. Pandora's box for whom? And they in another service matter, we've also said survivability rehti hai, stigma ki wajah se vagara vagara, lekin legal heirs must come and say that. Unke bagayar aage baadhi. Ek to wo sawaal problem. Dusra hai, man, teen dafa I saw a judgment of inconvenience caused wheels ki baise. One is the fine in the sentence. Itself. But there could be other monetary uh, consequences like pension sir. and all. That's wo, not covered. Who many judgments? Who? Because Supreme Court ki nahi hai. Aisi kai cases aaye jahan par unka service benefits effect ho rahi hai. Pension, pension effect ho rahi hai. That's Your, not covered. The honourable judges, who High Court ki judgments hai, main wo bhi list submit karwa deta hoon. Panch se saath aise cases hain. They were not entertained. Unka number one, it has to be punishment. That to fine. Even there is one landmark judgment, sir. Aaj tak ek judgment aai hai authored by his lordship Mr. Justice Amjad Rafiq of Lahore High Court. It is a very elaborate judgment, a treat to read as well. He has developed the, unho ne jurisprudence sari discuss ki law of abatement jis mein ye sare faisle bhi refer ki hai. And what he had observed us case mein compensation thi fine as well as compensation for 302 or compensation was also substantial 5 lakh rupees legal heirs came were aggrieved or usme likha legal heirs were very anxious stigma wali baat bhi thi 
उन्होंने कहा कि कॉम्पनसेशन भी 544 की नहीं आती बिकॉज दैट इज नॉट पनिशमेंट दैट इज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस सो कॉन्सिक्वेंस वुड नॉट बी इंटरटेन्ड इट हैज टू बी सो पनिशमेंट तो वो तो आर्टिकल सिक्स और नहीं अगर हम इसकी सॉरी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनैलिटी एग्जामिन कर रहे होते ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द लीगल एयर से Then this could have been a ground on the survivability of the issue, but वो है ही नहीं सारा सवाल ही नहीं चल सकता What would you say about Section 561A of the Criminal Procedure Code? जी बोलो शिपो। If you can first read it. जी inherent powers तो हैं। So but this is a specific provision. So Salman, Salman, all the provisions the CP, CRPC are subject to 561. वो तो होती हैं सर। Salman sir, sir please, sorry for my understanding. जी sir please sir. This appeal has been filed under subsection 3 of section 12 of the Criminal Law Amendment Special Court Act 1976. Sir, how does the Criminal Procedure Court is attracted in case of this appeal? May I ask? Because counsel. the special law does May not say counsel. so. Your Lordship, I was anticipating that question, and I have come prepared on that point. May I assist, Captain Sir? So kindly see. पहली बात तो ये है. Section 431 refers to all appeals. Section 431 on two occasions refers to law to death. Death has been explained in the law of abatement. इस section में 417 का भी जिक्र है, which is appeal against acquittal, कि वो भी abate हो जाएगी. जो जिस section की तरफ जनाब indicate कर रहे हैं, refer कर रहे हैं, 12.3 वो है एनी पार्टी हु इज एग्रीव फ्रॉम द फाइनल ऑर्डर और जजमेंट ऑफ द स्पेशल कोर्ट सो इट कुड बी एन अपील अगेंस्ट कन्विक्शन इट कुड बी अपील अगेंस्ट इक्विटल क्वेश्चन इज वेदर क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर कोर्ट अप्लाइज टू दैट ट्राइब्यूनल लॉर्डशिप नंबर वन सर डेफिनेशन में सेक्शन टू ए सी आर पी सी अप्लाई स्पेशल लॉ स्पेशल लॉ सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड रिफर टू टू ए सेक्शन थर्टीन पढ़ लीजिएगा मैं थर्टीन पढ़ लेता हूँ जी ओवर राइडिंग इफेक्ट है सर जी लॉर्ड सिर्फ आपकी इजाजत से इससे पहले ट्वेल्व थ्री में जिसमें अपील है एनी पार्टी एग्रीव बाय द फाइनल जजमेंट ऑफ द स्पेशल कोर्ट में प्रेफर एन अपील टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट विद इन थर्टी डेज of the passing of the judge. now this appeal has not been filed under any provision of the criminal procedure it has been sir may be justified it has been filed ki wo this wo kaise law. you know sir this is l13 sir apart ji 13 sir the provision of this act shall have effect notwithstanding anything contained in the code the evidence act 1872 or any other law for the time being in force overriding effect now you know sir my submissions for to satisfy my lord on that query would be number 1 this is not an appeal under section 185 this is a direct appeal to the supreme court for the first time this is a case of first impression never before anyone has been tried for high treason and this law has been very rarely put into use very rarely there are no reported judgments of this special law section 2 a of the law the opening lines code to govern the proceedings is crpc 2a then the entire case 87 hua 88 hua 265 k hua 512 hua 514 hua 342 hua wo sab ka sab yahan regulate hua dusra ye bhi hai ki jo 13 to my my reading of 13 is that If there's any provision in this act which is inconsistent with the inconsistent. court, then court then will not Lord apply. So, but many of you, us aspect ko bhi allot chup dekh liya. Ye this is the one and only trial ever taken place pursuant to this law in Pakistan, sir. I naturally all yes. there is. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. This is a case of first impression. Provision for overriding. And now, can you come to the 561A? Unless you have to say more on this. 
यू नॉट सिर्फ मैं इसको कंक्लूड कर देता हूँ कि इसमें अगर कोई मेरे पास और फाइव एक तो आई वुड लाइक टू रिफर टू दिनेशन ऑफ अबेटमेंट आपने जो बात अर्ज की आपने कहा कोड अगर इससे तसादुम रखता है तो, तो ये लॉ प्रिवेल करेगा अदरवाइज कोर्ट के प्रोविजन एप्लीकेबल है रिपोर्टेड जजमेंट है टेररिज्म पे नैब की एंटी करप्शन की स्पेशल कोर्ट्स की जितनी है द प्रिंसिपल इज विद डेथ द कॉर्पोरल पनिशमेंट मॉनिटरी नहीं है सर आर एग्जेक्टेड फ्रॉम द बॉडी द बॉडी इज नो मोर द appeal will abate it will not continues the continuance is a possibility if family steps in through supreme court rules through a formal application that to aaj sir family aa bhi jati the law of the country does not permit the family this is my speaking for myself unless my lords would permit them stigma ground par fine nahi hai acha जब फाइन नहीं है तो फैमिली आ भी जाए नहीं वो आप देखिए हम हम दरवाजा बंद नहीं करना चाहते हैं एग्जामिन नहीं कर हम उधर आज हमें ऐसा देखिए एक बुनियादी असूल ये होता है तो मफरूजों के बेसिस पे आप फैसले ना करें जी सर तो कल किसी की राइट चली जाए और वो कहेंगे जी आपने तो अपने तो आप पे ये एक्चुअल तो तो कोई आएगा लीगल एयर वो शायद ये पॉइंट रेज करे तो हम इसको दरवाजा बंद नहीं करना चाहते ये ये तो आपको वाज तौर पे कर दें मगर मैं सिर्फ वजहत के लिए आपसे पूछ रहा हूँ फाइव ए में अगर हम दरवाजा खोलना चाहते तो वो ही लीगल अर्ज खोलते हैं मगर हम 561 ए का सहारा लेकर के शायद खोल सकते हैं या नहीं खोल सकते आर्टिकल ऐसी आपकी सिंस वे आप मौजूद हैं और माशाल्लाह आप काफी महारत है क्रिमिनल लॉ में इसलिए हम आपका प्रेजेंस का फायदा उठा रहे हैं प्योरली एकेडमिक आई आई मस्ट कन्फेस दिस वॉज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट ब्रीफ दैट आई हैव हैंडल्ड सो फार हाई ट्रीजन इससे पहले कभी ऐसा था नहीं आप यहाँ से अंदाजा लगा लें सर इट वॉज इट केम टू मी एज एज ए सरप्राइज there were as many as 21 prosecutors appointed to bring home the guilt of the appellant and i was the only one defending him and that too jo mera ek gila tha gila ji your lordship tha ye to fir aap ye to aapka tasdeeq kar rahe hain ki i am equal to i am equal to 21 your lordship <laughs> even i was ousted from the proceedings और वो देन आई हैड टू गो टू दी इस्लामाबाद हाई कोर्ट चले वो छोड़े ये ये पॉइंट टू माई रेस्क्यू और मुझे वो आप वो सुनते बाद में मगर ये पॉइंट बताइए ये लॉर्डशिप खोलनी पड़ेगी और उसके लिए इफ माई लॉर्ड आर इनक्लाइंट उनको पता चल गया चल गया अच्छा एक सवाल में अगर आपसे पूछू यू से you had very grave reservations about the lahore high court what were the grave reservations about the lahore high court you know sir i i you said I, was, I, i do not even appear in you know sir i was i was assisting my engagement was to the extent wo, of i see push on city mein aapne bahut hi bilkul uske baad wo to lordship mai i am not before 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 the honorable judge for many years even in the supreme court of pakistan why so mai pesh unke paas would want to disclose or not i would not like to disclose jana mujhe in chamber person tal karna chahenge mai explanation nahi nahi chamber nahi bulate kisi ko shah sahab is aware but for personal reasons purely for personal shah sahab is aware मेरी एक प्रिंसिपल पोजीशन भी थी स्टैंड भी था तो मैंने इन ऑल फेयरनेस मैंने उनको वो आर्ग्यू करना चाहते थे वो वो किया बट और इन द मीन वाइल मैं ये भी एक्सप्लोर कर रहा था कि फैमिली आती फैमिली मुझे देर हैज टू बी अ फ्रेश एंगेजमेंट मैं ये भी कहना चाहूंगा माई प्रोफेशनल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट खत्म हो जाता है वकालतनामा खत्म हो जाता है क्योंकि कल आके वो कह सकते हैं आपको किसने इजाजत दी इसने
ये लोगों को बुलाएंगे एक चीज बताइएगा रिलेटेड टू दिस सी दिस वॉज अ केस विच वॉज फोर्स्ड अपॉन द फेडरल गवर्नमेंट बाई दिस कोर्ट बट दे डिड नॉट गो बैक टू ट्वेल्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर नाउ in the light of the amendments made in the constitution article 270 double a read with article 12 is the door still open to proceed against those who collaborated in ownership in, in 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 what had happened on 12th the lordship to uh, uh, the i w- uh, uh, had i been given uh, the mandate to argue the appeal my opening uh, grounds would have been that this is a case where a constitutional crime has been investigated and prosecuted in an unconstitutional manner for the reason the obvious the visible the aiders the abettors the collaborators those who were involved in the consultation process were dishonestly there was a let off all the members ye national assembly mein ye uh, uh, ye sari ki sari endorsements hui iske upar prime minister ki involvement thi law minister ki involvement thi jab proclamation of emergency ke aap upar dekhen ke kaun kaun se log hain jo involved the even honorable judges had said by for myself have a different view but not been legalized legitimized by the court there would not have been 3rd of november of course sir but could 3rd of november have been directed the federal government could have been directed to ne- initiate from 3rd of november and leaving or ignoring 12th of october your lordship this was this was actually attempted right before the decision of the special court the old prosecution team was notified denotified and a new one was notified who stepped in and filed an application yes, that this complaint has not been filed correctly and there should be certain amendments and changes in the number of accused and an allegations as well but that application was not entertained and in a haphazard manner without recording 342 without listening to my submissions closing speech without leading defense evidence a judgment was handed down uh, which was not a unanimous unanimous judgment magar ye attempt hone ki koshish is trial ke andar bhi hui ke aap in sare overall uh, whoever was involved is ka canvas bahut wide tha why target and narrow it down only to one person this is repellent to common sense that these actions could have been taken single handedly by one person without the advice of everyone the khair ye to mafruzon mein ja rahe hain mafruzon mein ja rahe hain magar nahi magar magar ye to usse to koi baat nahi hogi ki collectivity will abolish the individual act wo wo hai it's it only points towards unfairness aaj hum hum zara panch minute ke liye uthte hain aur shayad phir aaj hi suna dein us un cps mein bhi उधर तो आपको कुछ नहीं कहना है ना और इसमें भी ठीक है लॉर्ड थैंक यू आपकी क्रिमिनल अपील का नंबर क्या था एक डिजिट का फर्क होता तो शायद और बेहतरी हो जाती सर सेवन एट सिक्स आई होप यू नॉट होल्डिंग अस रिस्पॉन्सिबल अच्छा नहीं इट्स बीन अ प्लेजर Uh, hearing you thank you very much uh, because uh, I, without making any disparaging remarks on any other criminal lawyers but criminal lawyers generally do not go deep into the subject consider the actual constitutional and legal aspects of the case isme likhiye ye criminal appeal number 7852020 This appeal was filed by General Retired Parvez Musharraf. No, uh, uh, this no. In this appeal, General Retired Parvez Musharraf was arrayed as the appellant, 
and the Federation of Pakistan and the special court, the special court and the state were arrayed as respondents. <coughs> the appeal, the, uh, the appellant had not surrendered himself to the court and had contended, and it was contended on his behalf that he was indisposed abroad and not in a position to appear Full stop. The appellant was convicted with a judgment dated 17 December 2009. 19. Uh, 19, sorry, I beg your pardon. <coughs> and the appeal, and, and the instant appeal was filed on 16 January 2020. under section 12 within bracket 3 of the criminal law amendment within bracket special court bracket closed act 1976 to consider the office objection and need full stop when did he pass away? So this is 5-2-23. Mr. Salman Safdar. Learned Mr. Salman Safdar, comma, representing the appellant, pointed out that the appellant passed away on 5th February 23. 5th February 2023. And would be contacting his legal heirs to take instructions. The matter came up before this court on 10th of November 2023 and opportunity was granted to Mr. Salman Safdar. Full stop. This court also issued notices to the legal heirs of the deceased appellant on all the available addresses both within the country and abroad. Notices were also published in leading in, in the leading English newspaper Dawn and the leading Urdu newspaper Jung. And on 28 November 2023, the following two questions were also framed within bracket one whether on the death of the appellant the appeal did not abate in terms of section 431 of the code of criminal procedure comma 1898 semicolon and then bracket two if the conviction of the appellant is upheld the consequences thereof comma including on the rights public benefits of the appellant and his legal heirs full stop Mr. Salman Safdar, the next paragraph. Then in Mr. Salman Safdar states that 
Did you manage to make contact or you failed to make contact? Failed to make contact. They, they, they did not respond to my messages. Dhani Mr. Uh, uh, stated that he sent, a number, he sent out a number of messages reaching out to the legal heirs of the appellant but did not receive any response therefrom. Full stop. This court has also attempted to also, nee, uh, though not obliged to do so, but in the interest of justice, had sent messages, uh, had issued notices to the legal heirs within on all give on all known addresses in Pakistan and abroad, and as stated above, had also had notices published in the newspapers. Full stop. However, comma, there is no appearance on behalf of any of the legal heirs and Mr. Salman Safdar states, candidly states it under the circumstances and Mr. Salman Safdar states that none has, that since none have approached him, comma, let alone engaged him, the appeal, the instant appeal would abates in terms of section 431 of the code, full stop, uh, in view of the fact that there is, full stop, without, in the given circumstances, comma, and as none of the legal heirs have come forward, comma, the legal, uh, the we have no option but to hold that the instant appeal has abated. Consequently, comma consequently, the conviction of the special court uh, will actually we will attend to the other matter uh, uh, subsists. Uh, the CPL is the Abhi Sari presence of Hera Ham Not Current. Three thousand and seven left first. Tofikas. Wo date con city first date. Orders mm -hmm. Pehli wali 3799 hai. 9 7 9 7 9 7 9 7 9 7 9 Petitions. Ye presence likh lijega. Isme likhein for reasons to follow the impugn judgment of the High Court, dated this. No date of hearing here. No, the, the High Court passed in 
the date of hearing hai na Mm-hmm. Is it also the date of announcement? Oh, no. 13th January 13th is the date. January 13th of January uh, 2020. Passed in writ. Pet- uh, passed by the Lahore High Court, Lahore, in writ petition number 71713, oblique 2019, is not sustainable and accordingly set aside. the instant petitions may by converting the instant petitions into appeals and allowing the same thank you for your valuable assistance khan saab i think you deserve the greatest of credit and the bar associations have also made valuable contributions and thank you mr safdar thank you sir, thank you. sir for your i would look forward to I was looking forward to maybe in another case in another case i hope you will not not appear before me i feel i'm very anxious and looking oh, forward yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you jim thank you very much